Oh, g'day scrappers, time to uh, scrap out these PCs so I can clear the way. So um, I mentioned that I was going to scrap one of these and the servers that I picked up the other day just to have a look at what's inside, so I'll do that now. I won't bother showing you these HPs, they're pretty straightforward, they can't be bothered doing them, but um, yep, I'll, uh, I'll make a start on all these because I want to get the CPUs out at least. Um, and I'll check out the RAM, but uh, yeah, I'll just uh, make a start now and we'll have a look at what's inside one of these and uh, hopefully it's a good CPU that um, should, you know, if it sells for more than $10, I'll list them. If they're only cheaper ones, they're not really going to sell. I've already, I list a lot of CPUs and I had to take off about 50 different ones because they just don't sell even for five bucks each, so but uh, I might, what I might do, someone suggested if uh, the CPUs aren't that popular, uh, maybe just put them into a, a like a uh, bulk lot and sell 20 at a time or something like that, or, or just a whole lot in one big batch. Um, you know, and even then, if we only get three or four dollars each for them, um, it'll still be okay. But we'll, uh, we'll have a look, you never know. Right, so I'm going to do two of those uh, IBM System X3200s. Uh, we'll just check them out. Uh, I want to do one of each, the Pentium style and the Xeon style. So we'll have a look at the inside of them anyway. I think these are probably uh, going to be the most interesting thing. And then we got the little Acer, which I've got probably 50 odd PCs. So hopefully it's a good CPU. So I'll, I'll make a start on the Acer. And we'll get this one, um, have a look at that, hopefully. It's gonna be good. And then, yep, whatever comes of these, we'll check them out too. Okay, let's make a start on this Acer. I do like the front of them, they just kinda look quite, quite mean, you know, but, uh, old stock. Okay, well they actually, Surprisingly, normally from schools and stuff, they're very, very dusty. But, very nice and clean. We'll, we'll see the specs of it, and um, I might even keep a few just to pass on to people that need a PC um, urgently. Sometimes people's PCs break down and they just need a computer to um, get themselves online or something so so I might keep uh, half a dozen or so okay all right I'll just get my bearings where I am here uh, Well, they're only 160 gigabytes. Not much there. Definitely for the scrap. Okay. Little power supply. Gold fingers, at least. <laughs> All right. This is the main show. I really hope that there's something half decent.
and not to mention I'm hoping that the heat sinks are going to be copper stackers and it looks like they might be so that's going to be an awesome addition if I've got over 50 of them no bugger ripped off Just straight extruded. That's a shame. Would have been nice to have another 50 copper stackers. But at least these ones are okay. The uh, the bracket isn't like stuck on. Um, so all we have to do is just unscrew the, the bracket. Yeah, so I just decided that uh, I've got to make a start on these PCs the the monitors I can't really start well there's no point because my plastic recycler guy is um, closed for Christmas so see so these are just going to go straight into extruded aluminium so you know it, it's actually good quality aluminium so if you're looking at melting aluminium for uh, making ingots or um, any anything from cast use extruded aluminium and you find it's much cleaner you don't end up you know with so much dross and um, yeah these will be good all right let's get this CPU ah, I can see straight away it's not going to be a really really good one it's SLGTE really common I'll just have a look at my stock okay yeah they're not um, these don't sell on eBay well in Australia anyway I've already got them a little box of them this is these are my little eBay boxes I put a different CPU in each box but yeah see there's over a dozen here and they just don't sell so, and mind you, I put these um, down to like $5.50 and then uh, about a month ago I had a half price special on stuff that doesn't sell and so these went down to $2.50 and <laughs> I still didn't sell any at $2.50 um, because then postage is about the same as well, actually probably a little bit more. So yeah. SLGTEs, um, not going to do any good on these, but what I will do, I'll still keep them and I'll, I'll just sell it as, as one big lot, like there's going to be like 60 SLGTEs and you know if I can get $3 each, probably won't even, I w I'm pretty sure they're not going to sell, so you know the myth of oh they'll all sell on eBay well you see them listed on eBay but they've got to sell the only ones that really sell are i3 i5 i7s no problem about that uh, you got a RAM just one RAM stick uh, what do we got? Oh, okay they're two gigabyte RAM so at least we'll be able to get some money for RAM if we want to sell them and again what I'll probably do is uh, I'll just sell the whole lot in one big bulk lot say 50 2 gigabyte RAM sticks and whatever they sell for all right <sighs> so NVIDIA GF 8400CS 512 megabyte these probably won't even sell too I don't really try to sell this sort of stuff because I just don't have time for repairs and warranties and all that all right uh, well these are a very simple straightforward PCs to scrap out so this is only going to take me a, a few minutes on each one so I'll be able to do a whole lot quick and get rid of these cases um, Probably first thing Monday.
Those. Always the first one is a bit clumsy, but after that, so just a straightforward um, motherboard. Take that off. All right. There we go. All scrapped. Uh, even just a really crappy little board, but still something. Want a little motor. These, the silvery ones, sometimes they're not even brass anymore. Yep. See, they're not even brass. Some, some of the older ones are white brass, but yep, not even brass. So, uh, as cheap as you can get. <laughs> Some people like to keep these. There's a little bit of gold bonding wires inside there. Um, yeah, not a whole lot, but. All right. Check that out. Gosh, can't get much smaller than that board. Almost, it's barely worth wasting my time trying to take it out, really. Nothing. Some little bit of gold pins and that's it that's not even gold flashing that's just uh copper <laughs> all right scrap me little fan motor Yeah, just some little pins there if you want to go for them. Those pins are good though, they're worth getting. There we go. One PC ready for the scrapyard. So we've got the motherboard. We got a, at least we've got one slot card out of every one, so that should be good. Uh, little DVD board, very, very basic these days. Some gold fingers, some nice aluminium heatsink at least. Uh, power supply, 160 gig hard drive. It's amazing how clean these are, it's very unusual. So these PCs almost. They must have been in a really good, uh, clean room, but no good really, 160, people aren't even buying one terabyte anymore. Selection of wire, still got some gold pins on there we can take off, still got to clean up this wire. But there you go, that was what was in the Acer, and uh, just multiplied that by 50. And uh, yeah, pretty low value really, but uh, you know, a couple of saving graces is at least we've got a slot card, adds a little bit of value, at least these ones are extruded and um, 
you know, easy to um, take off the brackets so we can, you know, get a few bucks for them. And at least they've got a hard drive in there, so they're only going to get recycled as scrap hard drives, so uh, pretty low value. They're only worth about 50 cents each like that. Um, but, yep. All right, let's move on to the servers. Okay, now we've got these IBM System X3200. So, uh, I think I'll start on the Pentium one, and then we'll do the Xeon one next. But I'll just take off the front covers, make a start. Uh, they're all got, uh, looks like they got the original IBM keys. So, um, I mean, we've got a bit of brass, but uh, these can actually be collectible too. Some people like to put these in their IBM collection. So, you know, a pair of keys. So I've got, what have I got, about 11 of them. So I'll definitely keep them, you know, and just put them in the old, oddball IBM stuff, you know. Another one there. All right. Well, okay. Looks like there's only got two hard drives in the these ones. The IBM. Oh, the sorry, not IBM. And the Pentium ones. They okay. Well, they're actually quite good ones. These ones. Uh, you know, geez, I mean, they're only 500 gigabytes, but they're the SATA, 3 gigabyte, um, you know, original IBM System X. So these are really good ad, uh, replacement hard drives for, you know, people that still got these systems. Um, obviously, I'm not going to scrap these out or anything like that. So they're quite pretty too, because uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to keep a couple of these for myself. So I want at least four to maximize the um, this hard drive space. These ones will probably be different, um, but you know these ones here are uh, they're well worth reformatting and wiping everything off the um, all the data and you know you can sell these especially you know like places in America these would sell really good not so much here in Australia it's just secondhand stuff is just a totally different ball game here in Australia than it is in America um, that's just the way it is uh, people just prepare, prepare uh, prefer to just go and buy new stuff you know but hard drives you know they can sell i just don't put much effort into selling hard drives because i prefer to just um, make sure that they're completely uh destroyed and you know out of the system but uh, I'll, I'll definitely keep these for myself some of these so i can stock up my own two systems yeah so they're nice and in the Xeon systems, okay, they're the same ones. I didn't expect that because I'm pretty sure I looked at a couple others and they were a, a little bit different. But um, all right, well, that's not too bad too. They just got different um, things. Like these caddies here are actually quite good. You'd, you'd leave it all complete um, if you were to sell them because you know. Some people really need these caddies as well because they might only have, like this system has only got two, so they might have a blank space and they want uh, to fill up a cu couple or two, a couple others, so they also need these um, caddies. So, all right. Well, it looks like there's gonna be two hard drives in each one. So let's start scrapping this one out, seeing what's in it. Just before I scrap it out, I'll take this cover off as well. That way, got access to the uh, DVD at least. We can um, take that. We've just got a couple of USB ports here, but just get rid of that. Okay. Open Sesame. Okay, well quite empty for, for a server really I suppose we've already taken out the two hard drives but these these IBM x3200 s are um, only single core CPUs or only single CPUs 
as you know most servers uh, have dual CPUs so unfortunately I can't sell these um, hard drives or sorry motherboards as server motherboards because um, my buyer requires them to be two s s dual socket CPU so this will only go as a PC motherboard but that's still fine because um, they're still pretty heavy and you don't lose that much anyway actually before I scrap it out I just want to compare the two the Pentium to the Xeon um, the only real difference I see so far is uh, as well as the DVD player it's also got one of those tape drives Ultrium tape drives it's just like a data tape drive so um, that's the only difference which is pretty you know at least I've got an extra component but I, I, I'd like to keep a few of these um, data drives they might come in handy so that's the only difference in the front But the inside looks just about identical. Uh, even the CPU heatsink is identical. There's no difference. Oh, actually, these ones have slot cards, and it looks like these these ones don't. But other than that, almost identical. All right. Ah. Now, memory serves me correct, I'll push that, there we go, and get rid of that whole thing, that's nice, gives us nice room. I'll keep a few of these ones. Simply because they look pretty sexy. Alright. So very almost you know very very empty. Uh, as you can imagine, you know, these are only from school, so they don't need all the the you know fancy stuff. They don't need the um, you know any special video cards or network cards or anything like that um, but as I keep saying beggars can't be choosers there's a little daughter card so not a bad board it's got a nice little crystal oscillator remember these these ones here with the copper tops they're not really worth much for BGAs but we've got some fingers so something. All right. Ah, it's got those screws that need a flat end. So this is all got to be done manually. And there's a lot of screws. So yeah, I think. like there's a screw underneath the heat sink four screws okay so nothing special these ones it's got these copper pipes but see how I don't know if you can see that but see how the copper is slightly shiny that's different copper you know I know we can sell the that copper as normal copper like number two copper but um, when I go to melt this copper, it's um, the bar turns out just like that. It's like shiny, it almost looks brassy. It's got like a brass in it. So there's some kind of um, something else in there, whether it's zinc or it's not 100% pure copper. So um, I don't put this in with pure copper when I go to for my melting purposes. I just uh, I, I actually sell this kind of copper because I don't want to mix it into my ingots that I make because it's just totally different 
and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, one day when I'm melting copper I'll show you some examples on how it actually looks but all right I'll just get out this now oh at least we've got some cast aluminium but yeah it's disappointing that there's only one CPU in these servers and I can only sell these um, motherboards as PC motherboards but here we go let's see if we can actually get a CPU that's actually worth selling okay straight away I can see old style it's not going to be a really good one uh, ah SLA8Z SLA8Z I think I've sold a few of these I'll have to check them out but they're not expensive probably get about $10, $12 for that so um, if it actually sells so that's the thing I can't remember I think I might have sold one or two but they're not that popular but that's okay this is all about recycling it's not trying to you know we try and maximize our value where we can but you know it doesn't always have to work that way well at least we've got four um, ram sticks here so that might be a savior yeah well there you go 512 megabytes so pretty useless really um, again, you can sell these in some countries, India, America, China maybe, all those third world countries you can sell these, just joking, but um, here in Australia no one is really going to want to buy that, w what's the point of buying 512 when they can just buy one 2 gigabyte stick and do the same job, you know, so um, once you've tried to sell these, like for years um, you start to realize and sure there's always going to be people commenting saying oh you know you should you know oh, we, you can get five dollars each for them you know you know whatever it is you know we can't because I've tried I've listed these um, for like a year and no one wants to buy them unless you sell them for 50 cents each or something um, so you might as well just put it into gold recovery all right, well, that's the uh, motherboard. Really nothing spectacular, hey? I mean, it's just a motherboard. It'll, it's okay, can't complain. You know, you might be able to pick off a few of these MLCCs, but yeah, straight into motherboards. All right. Well. about as boring as you can get as far as a service scrap really they're um, really not that impressive all I have to do now is just yeah keep the fan maybe just another DVD yeah So there you go. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the next three or four days. A little bit better board. A little bit bigger anyway. Alright, well at least this one's got brass. So I'll scrap that out. Now I'll just have a quick look at the other one and see what the CPU looks like in that. So yeah, we've got the four RAMs, most likely going to be gold recovery. I will look them up, you know, just to make sure they're not, you know, something special. But uh, 512, gee, I can't even barely sell two gigabyte RAM sticks anymore, let alone uh, 512. A little board, another board. Pretty good power supply unit though.
two hard drives. All right. Seems a little bit different configuration. Okay, so at least we've got one slot card, but how's the fingers on it? <laughs> hey, I mean, geez, they couldn't get any more tighter than that. Um, but you know, what do you do? It's actually a good quality circuit board. Um, we've got really, you know, good quality uh, BGAs. Um, and you know nice crystal oscillator and stuff but he had the fingers are just ridiculously small um, oh well just want to have a look at the CPU because everything else is very much identical and the RAM okay so the RAM's a little bit better these are one gigabyte but still can try sell them get a few bucks each but very rarely so if I've got a few of these what I'll do like it looks like there's four in each one so um, yeah what I'll do is because they're all identical when I scrap them all out whatever I've got might have 20 of them so I'll just put I'll just list them as one bulk lot and you never know might get uh, you know 60 70 bucks for 20 or so um, yeah CPU, the same kind of aluminium heatsink, you know, because it's got a part number, a lot of heatsinks don't have, you know, like genuine part numbers, so because we've got a IBM part number here, um, you know, and you know, we can just keep this complete, and you can sell these, you know, I'd probably sell these quicker than I'd sell the RAM, believe it or not, um, but you know, it's just second-hand stuff and we just don't have a market here in Australia okay get the CPU out there we go. okay the wipe so we've got SLACU SLACU uh, I'm not sure about these ones either. They might, yeah, I can't recall the the number SLACU. Yeah, they're not going to be very, very easy to sell these ones either. But I'll I'll check my list and see. So yeah, the motherboard, everything else is uh, very much identical. So the only difference here is we've got the tape drive. Oh. these are uh, really nice big old tape drives so you, genuine IBM Gen 2 tape drive so uh, you know this I keep you know and can try and sell these on eBay or you know that I'm more comfortable with trying to sell well guys um, not as exciting as um, most servers that I get to scrap out. Uh, I've got a couple of beauties uh, that I might scrap out um, after Christmas. Um, but uh, yeah, for those of you that wanted to see what the uh, servers that I picked up the other day looked like inside, well, now you know. Okay guys, well, I hope that was a little bit of fun for you. Um, I'm going to get busy now and scrap all this stuff out, especially those aces, and um, make room for the next stuff. Alright guys, keep scrapping, and I'll catch you next time.